Well, hello, it is May 25th. It is 11 o'clock at night. I just got in the shower, still haven't gotten dressed, and we've got disaster going on. We've got clean clothes, my towel that I just got out of, and a suitcase and a disaster. So I just got back from Blind Channel this morning, had to work, and um, tomorrow morning I'm flying to Vancouver, and Wesley's flying to Vancouver, and we're gonna meet for the first time in person. That's crazy, right? Um, I just got chills. Maybe I'm just not wearing enough clothes. Um, <laughs> anyway, so I am packing you know, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday leaving Monday. Um, my hands are green from my hair <laughs> and um, I have put this off for far too long so I should probably I, like I fly at like 8 50 tomorrow have to leave here at like 7 30 have not packed <laughs> it's fine okay well I am now officially packed um, though it took longer than intended and I couldn't find my carry-on backpack and I looked under my bed and it wasn't there and then I tried to get another backpack out. Ah, <sighs> stress. It's not that I left at the last minute, it's that things were stupid and then like I painted my nails and this one already got a chip and this one I don't paint my nails. The gel polish is where it's at to be honest. Anyways, it is 1.20. I have to leave the house in about six hours so I need to get to sleep and I guess I will just see you along on the adventure. All I have to pack in the morning is like the last couple, um, whatchamacallit, chargers and stuff. And Rudy, there he is, hanging out there. One last sleep here before we go adventuring again. Well, good morning. It is 7.03. Um, it's go day. We're putting on deodorant. Um, didn't sleep great last night. One, stayed up too late. Two, just couldn't get to sleep and three very hot in my room um but yeah here we go exciting going to the airport leaving like 15 minutes gotta have a breakfast drink um i want to bring my water bottle but there's certainly no space for it and this is my carry-on bag and it was jam-packed which is totally fine that's not the end of the world but i need some water now because whew, sweaty girl Take me where your river flows I wanna drive on your open road Like the wilderness where we are born Singing whoa There's an ocean in your eyes A million stars that paint the sky So we'll drift down with the tide Singing whoa I did. <laughs> My mom was like, great start. Hello. You can call it Wonderland. We could stay the night. The hair. The hair is always bad. Hello. Welcome to the vlog and another series of vlogs that I just don't know if they're ever going to see the light of day. Today is September 27th. And in two days, on the 29th, I am flying to Vancouver, and then the next day, I am flying to the States to meet up with Wesley. So that's exciting. We haven't seen each other in person since the end of May, um, but I got stuff to do for sure in preparation for that. One, I should probably be using this tripod. That'd make more sense. <laughs> um, but two, I need to repack my makeup because it's just kind of become a disaster. My toiletries are already packed because I was, because I just left one channel like 
just over two weeks ago. And um, so some of it I already had, because I have doubles of everything. Forgot to stick deodorant on there, in there, but we're good. So we got that, but this guy right here, the uh, the, the makeup one. Uh, like there's some things that I probably don't want to bring, like these razors. I mean, it's going to be in the my checked luggage anyways, but you know, don't want to risk losing things unnecessarily. So let's uh, take some time and repack this. Alrighty, I moved over here because one, far more comfortable, and two, better lighting, and three, more space. Potentially not in that order, but it is what it is. So we've got my brushes. I still have to, I'm still streaming at least tonight, if not also tomorrow, so you know, <laughs> you know. Um, I just, I have a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> I was gonna say I probably don't need as I pull out things that I use like on a daily basis. So I think what we do is we just empty it entirely, okay? Just, that's not something I use regularly, so that's fine. Just entirely, okay. Besides my tweezers and my little like eyebrow shaper thing in there, we're good. All right, step one, empty. So the things that I use on a regular basis, primer. Is it my favorite primer? It's the Maybelline, whatever. Um, this is almost out, so we're just gonna take the new one of my BB cream, and then I'm gonna try to just go like bottom up. I've been using this as my pressed powder lately because lazy to buy a new one. Bronzer, um, do I, I don't need two blush. I don't need two blush. Which one do I want though? Well, this one seems to be the one I use more, so let's take that one. Okay, put that to the side. Lip stuff, eyebrow stuff, very important. These I haven't been using, so those can go to the side. Same as that, that can go to the side. This is for my eyebrows. I mean, I guess technically this could go in with the brushes. Maybe we'll do that. Um, eyebrows. I guess knees. <laughs> or not. That's just dead. This can stay. I'm like, I'm just not. I don't know what shade I prefer with the shape tape right now. I bought the wrong shade, but I'm kind of enjoying it. <laughs> it's a little bit lighter. Okay. More lip stuff, more eyebrow stuff, um, mascara that I am thoroughly enjoying. I think I only open this in the summer, so it should be fine. Lip stuff, under eye concealer stuff, um, beauty blender, that, <laughs> that. And then one of these is dead. And one of these is not dead. This is the not dead one. Okay. And then more lip stuff. Okay. I think that's good. And potentially, can I fit that in there? Because if I could also, oh, yes. Amazing. I even got my eyeshadow in, which I didn't expect I would be able to do. Amazing nail glue from when I went back to blind channel after the wedding. Okay. All right. So next we got the brushes. I don't know why I held it up so high. Okay. Um, so we use the beauty. Okay. So we need this one for my beauty, whatever <laughs> for my beauty, <laughs> my beauty cream, blush, bronzer, contour, eyeshadow, for like blending it out. This is my orange one. This is my crease one. That's my lid one. This is for the yellow. This is my highlighter. And then there's one more brush. The red for the corners. Perfect. Oh, and for the eyebrows. All right, so that is exciting. I was like stressed out about having to repack it, but I'm really glad that it all got together in one. So now toiletries are packed and, and makeup is packed. And then today I'm about to go put in laundry. Well, it's two o'clock. I figure I need to get it put in by 2.30. And then we will go, um, and tomorrow, tomorrow the actual packing begins. There's a couple of things that I think I can at least check in my hotel because I'm staying in a hotel. I'm staying in the, um, Fairmont 
uh, Vancouver airport on Thursday night because she's bougie. No, honestly, like I'm flying in and I think I get there at like 7 or 7.30 at night and then I have to make my way from the southern terminal to the main terminal. So it's gonna be like 8 p.m. and then my flight is at like 6.25 in the morning. So no, we're not leaving the airport for that. So anyways, I'm gonna shut up and continue doing things and um, I will check in as we continue um, getting, getting ready. I'm not feeling stressed, which is good, but that could just be because I don't realize how much I have to do. Okay, so my laundry is done and fold it, which is a miracle. Normally I wouldn't fold all of this because it would go on hangers in the closet, but because I'm probably gonna pack some of this, I figured I should just do like this. The plan for today, so it's, it's like six now, so I need to start thinking about streaming. I was thinking maybe starting at like 6.30. Um, but the plan for today, we'll see if it happens, is to pick out the clothes that I want to wear. I think I mentioned that. Put away all these clothes that I'm not going to take. And then just kind of use my hamper as like a staging zone for whatchamacallit. For the stuff that I'm going to pack. That's simple. What you going to call it? For packing. Anyways, I just finished dinner and I got grease all on my shirt but it's fine and um yeah I guess I guess I at least have like 20 minutes to work on this before I need to think about streaming even if I do start early alrighty it is time ironically the suitcase round is it I assume it stands for like international travel I don't know anyway I look a bit like a mess because I just got home from work, so hair is all the way over there. This is my new suitcase. I picked it up the other day because the one that I have is like a carry-on size. And it's okay, but it has been breaking a little bit. And I figured a slightly larger size would be better. It's my first time going down there. I don't know what I need. I'm going to overpack. Um, and that's okay. <laughs> um, I picked this up the other day at Walmart with extensive testing. My friend came and helped me. And um, I think it's a good size. It's like not like a giant one, but it's also not small. And it expands in case I do like a crazy amount of shopping, which I don't know why I would because the Canadian dollar right now is terrible against the American one, but whatever, is fine. Yesterday I filled this, well, overfilled this hamper with stuff I wanna bring. Am I gonna bring all that? I don't know. But it's options. So now I'm gonna pack. It is Wednesday. Flight is tomorrow evening. And, or first flight, I guess. And I have one more day of work. The plan today is to pack, probably have a nap, get up, eat dinner, stream, and then um, continue on my merry way, I guess. So anyways, let's get packing, I guess. It's too late now to turn around back again I made my bed and now I lay my head in it Alrighty, so suitcase is packed, nap was had. I definitely um, need to make some adjustments to the suitcase. There, the lighting is trash. There's, um, there's still stuff I need to put in it. Um, and so I don't know if I just need to move some of the stuff over to the other side because the other side was like completely full or if I need to reevaluate and packing. But like the majority of everything is in there and that is a win for now. Tomorrow we'll make adjustments, but for now I'm perfectly happy with that. Um, it's five o'clock. I'm going to start putting on makeup because I'm streaming tonight. Um, and then either at some point today or like first thing when I get home tomorrow, I need to go into that corner of my closet, which is such a pain to get into, um, but I need to get out my carry-on and um, my luggage tag so I can stick it on here. Uh, but yeah, I should also probably weigh that, see how heavy it is, but we're doing okay. Alrighty, and hello, look at that. Suitcase is fully packed. I weighed it. It's about 36 pounds, which is great um, because I, it can be up to 50. I, I figured it was like 30-ish pounds when I was like lifting it up. Um, so that's exciting. I am just waiting for my other GoPro battery to charge uh, so I can put the charger and it in this, in my idiot bag, which is really a great travel bag because it usually has most of what I need. I took, to, I took out, I took out a couple of the surplus things. I don't need, like I don't need SD cards in there because I just have the GoPro. And other than that, we've got 
um, this go, go, go carry-on bag, and I will say, it's like the chillest this carry-on bag has ever been. Usually I think I have Ruby in here, but I got him in there. <laughs> hopefully he, uh, hopefully the suitcase makes it. I'd be very sad and have no clothes if it didn't. I have clearly showered. It is, um, 1.30, so probably be leaving here in the next three and a half-ish hours. I need to figure out what I want to do for dinner. It's like, my flight is at, like, 6 45 I think so it's like in a really weird time where like I have to eat beforehand but I have to be at the airport an hour in advance so it's like 5 45 so I have to eat at like 5 <sighs> I don't know but I'm feeling good because one I'm pretty sure that my measurements are correct and that is not going to be oversized <laughs> I mean if it is it is at this point pfft. Um, and two, it's not overweight, which is exciting, and three, everything's in there, and like with room to spare. Not a ton of room, but there are things that I'm bringing down and I'm leaving down there, so that's cool. Um, and yeah, so I'm feeling pretty good about things, crossing things off my list. I have a couple more things I need to do. I made my bed, so like that's nice to come home to. I should probably take out my garbage. I likely won't. <laughs> um, and I just need to check my voicemail because I've been putting it off and send it and text somebody. And then I think we are GTG. Good to go. That's exciting. Alrighty, I just read for like the last half an hour because I got sick of staring at my screen. I have my carry-on. Wow, that is like excessively heavy for the size. And I think it's time to go, go to the airport. Actually, to food first. And then the airport. We could drive along an ocean reflecting the sun Or make a bed of green atop a wide open scene Under a canvas of blue I would draw ever nearer to you To feel the dew on your skin That is how it would begin For summer is for falling in love We could stay out late Until the sun sets past eight And the cotton candy haze Mirrors the warmth of your gaze Raise your glass to mine And as we drink Guys, so we could disregard the thought of ever having to part For summer is for falling in love Check in, we made it. Oh, I think it's just gonna open the buckwing. Going to 8 of 8. Oh, look at that bathtub. Look how nice this is. They got the TV going. Bam. Alrighty, so I am in the Fairmont, Vancouver at the airport um, because I figured it's easier. Mirror. Look how bougie we are. We have toilet room. I mean, it should be bougie for how much I paid for this place. Bathtub. Shower, which I will not be taking one because I did it already today. Nice king size bed. And then we have a view of that. <laughs> I could have paid more to have like a view of like the tarmac but like what's the point because like I'm literally here for one night like for very few hours anyways I really need to pee <laughs> we we're stuck up in the air a little bit longer than anticipated because um 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 use your brain use your brain I don't know they had to circle I guess it was really busy here at the airport and um yeah I got a hyperallergenic room, which is very exciting. I mostly got it because, like, you know, we got we got scent issues um, and king-size bed because I wanted it. So that's exciting. 
I might, I'm, I'm kind of hungry and the restaurant is open for another like hour and a bit. So I might go down there. But again, first I gotta pee. Alrighty, I am gonna go down. I don't think I'm gonna go to the lounge because I'm not super hungry. I just am a little peckish. I'm gonna see if I can find like a pop and some chips. Um, so I'm gonna head down, come up, have a little snack rooney get ready for bed, and then climb into bed because I gotta be up at like four tomorrow morning because my flight is at like 6.30. Alrighty, I wanted a Coke, but the, this is it's Pepsi. It was Pepsi. The first one I found, it was Pepsi, but we got an orange crush and some all dressed ruffles chips. Um, it was like the best option. Also, I love that I have this plane spotting guide because I am literally like looking at not <laughs> the airport. I mean, I guess you might be able to see some of them come in, but as we'll see, I'm gonna watch some HDTV, eat my little snack rooney and then like I said, start to wind down. I, I didn't nap today, which I would have had time, but I think it was the right call to not nap. And, um, so hopefully I should be able to get to sleep relatively quickly. It's like nine, maybe if I get to sleep by like 10, that gives me like six hours of sleep, which would be phenomenal because some days for work I get like two, so we can do it. I will say this is a very comfortable bed. I um, mean, it's like quarter to 10 now. I've got my, my pillowcase. My pillowcase doesn't really fit on these massive king size pillows, but it works. So I got my pillowcase on so I don't inadvertently stain some pillows. Um, I've got my clothes laid out for tomorrow. Honestly, I'm wearing the same thing I wore today because I've been working for a few hours. I've got my toothbrush and toothpaste ready and anything I might need in the morning. And I've got this little, this alarm here set as backup. Um, but I'm gonna set many, many alarms on my phone. And um, yeah, I am going to go to sleep now and um, I will see you in the morning. Good morning, it's four. I slept pretty well, except for the part where I woke up at like two in the morning and I couldn't get back to sleep for a bit. But anyways, it's, t <coughs> it's time to get up and moving. I really said use all the bedding at once. <laughs> okay, I'm someone that has to like tuck my feet in when I sleep. Uh, that one point last night I did find myself like sleeping and I was like there. <laughs> like use the whole bed, my dude, use the whole bed. Anyways, I am now fully dressed. Again, I'm close from yesterday. My suitcase is packed. I had to open it a second time because I forgot to put on deodorant, which would have been terrible. Um, I'll put that back down to 19.5, which is what it was at. Um, Got my mask, got this, gonna go check out, and then um, head, go, and then go check in, and then go through security and stuff, and see if we can't find some food before six-ish. It's currently like still before 4.30, but anyways, yeah, I'll see you as I can, cause you know, you know. In the air, the world has come alive And when I see you, you make my pulse rise I never knew that I could be so hypnotized There's something in your touch, baby The way your body's moving me And I don't know where this soul will go Oh, nobody knows Out of nowhere, into my life my feet if i don't try now the chance will slip away i'll bury all my doubts and i won't be 
Did I just like completely take over the bed and I'm like <laughs> basically having a nap? Well, Wesley goes to get the girls. Absolutely. Anyways, I'm here. Hello. Um, we, I got picked up. We dropped stuff off here, went and got some food, picked up new sheets because we know I have sensory processing issues and so he wanted to make sure I was comfortable. This is a new duvet, but I I had ordered it already. Got a pillow for me. And yeah, I'm just vibing, just hanging out, just waiting. A little nervous. It's probably gonna be fine. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> so anyways, I'm back home now, as you can see, and the surprise that I went to the airport to pick up, I don't, you might have caught little glimpses of it, but anyways, there it is! Hi! It's Wesley! My name's Wesley, hello. Yeah, that's my guy. I don't know! Is that what you- <laughs> My guy, my guy! You just start singing a song, is this where the musical number starts? <laughs> yes. Is that what you usually- My life is a musical. Is it? Yeah. Is, there, is that an actual show, by the way? I don't know. Anyway. Um, I found him on the internet. <laughs> is that? <laughs> I found him on the internet. Imported him from a different country? Yeah, absolutely. She, out of nowhere, would just start messaging me and talk. Oh, stop it. You always say that when I start telling the story. It was the her. Story. She pursued me. Mm -hmm. She was like, you know what? I'm going to talk to this guy. And we met because we both stream. Mm -hmm. And one day she just messaged me out of nowhere because I talked about on stream that I was moving, moving, moving. And she was all like, "How's the move going?" I'm like, "Why is this girl Actually, talking to I me?" Actually, I messaged you beforehand to oh, play a game play together. Oh, fall guys, yes. yeah. Yeah. So oh. mm. that was her her way in though. That's her way, so she felt more comfortable asking me how the move went. <laughs> he um, just like turned a camera on you, and you were like, "I am on." Oh yeah, you know that, huh? Yeah. I'm good at it. I know how to turn. I know how to turn it on. Uh, no, not like that. Oh wow. Okay. Well. Um. <laughs> And then I tried to get her to leave me alone, and she left me alone for a while. And then she messaged me again when my kids were sick. And Can I was you hold like, this? Because I got to open the window because it's oh. just don't cover the microphone. Oh, is that right there? Yeah. So I just hold it like this? Yeah, that's good. Look at me. Oh, look at my. I got a huge nose, just so you guys all know. Oh, yeah. Anyway. And so uh, she was all like, hey, how you doing? Good looking. I'm like, I'm good. And she's like, how are your sick kids? And I'm like, they're not doing so good. And she's like, oh, how can I help you? And I'm like, I don't know just keep talking to me and so we kept chatting and you know one thing led to another and uh now it's this yeah. you. <laughs> you can cut that out <laughs> i just wanted to say that real quick because i looked at you but, yeah anyways we're about to stream for progress together which is exciting because it's probably going up well past christmas but you know it is what it is <laughs> anyways we should probably you'll still enjoy it when you see it yeah we should probably get we gotta go live we saw 14 minutes. Yeah, but, I, yeah, but, yeah, but yeah. it's fine. Listen to her. She's a professional. I'm just here. I'm the boyfriend. Don't listen to me. <laughs> or as my grandpa said, you're a man, so you're always right. <sighs> I just laughed at him. All yeah. Right. Okay. Bye it's for nice now. meeting you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>